What is going on guys? My name is Dimitri and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna break down for you what a Microsoft Outlook board is and how it can be utilized to have everything in your Microsoft suite in one place. Let's get right into Microsoft Outlook's boards. So here's everything in one place. This is what a Microsoft Outlook board can look like once you finish things up and get it tweaked to your liking. How do we get here though? This is what I'm gonna break down for you guys in today's video. Let's get right into it. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to Outlook and then go to the calendar view. And then after you get into the calendar view, you wanna to go to this top right area here and what it'll probably show you is the month view off the bat or the week view off the bat. So you wanna just change this right here. And for these purposes, we're gonna to go to this arrow then press new board. I'm gonna type all in one enter and then go and use this all in one view. So when you make a new board, it's probably going to look like this. Uh, what I ended up doing was tweaking things around. So as you can see, there's there is a few different views that you can make. There's a bunch of different widgets and optimizations and customizations that you can make. But essentially, you can have an overview of your entire workflow. And it is great if you're someone like me who pretty much uses just Microsoft Office and the Microsoft Cloud for um, an entire ecosystem. That's all we use at work. So it really helps me out and I like it a lot. So let's show you guys what widgets, options, and customizations that you can make here. So if you go to this little thing right here, you can see what you can add and then you can go show all. And these are your options. So I think some of these are worth breaking down. Obviously a calendar is nice having a task list, a spot to jot notes, the weather. I don't really think that's important nowadays with this thing. Uh, the goals that you can set up, you can put quick links to things, files, put your location. I'm not really sure the purposes of that. You can have a person's contact information, which is kind of nice. Clock, once again, unless you're referencing a different time zone, not sure what that's for. Tips, you have this little widget. Can I figure out keyword short, or not keyword shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. And then collections. So let's let's set up things just like I had in the other one and show you how I got there. All right, so first and foremost, the way that I had this one set up is that it's a week, but it's a work week. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna change this right here to a different setup. If we go to the top right, we go to view, we change it to work week. Now this makes it a little bit better. Um, I think view wise, um, what I'm going to do now is, as you can see, my task list is not going to be crazy long. Maybe this is how long it's going to be for work, maybe for you, maybe it's not, but let's resize this. If you press, let me do that again for you. So if you click onto anything, go to here, you press resize. So I'm just going to knock this one down a bit. Scroll down here, kind of align it with this. Then I'm going to add a goal to the board. For example, say we had a goal right here. What's your goal? Complete project by Friday. Then we can set this up by Friday. Okay, so we have a goal. So it shows complete project by Friday. The goal set up. Let's resize this to kind of be in line with the calendar. So let's say your to-do list is this long. That'd be nice. I'm gonna get rid of this tips right here. Remove that from the board. We can make the notes section a little bit bigger i think it can it can benefit from being a little longer and a little larger this way now let's add other parts to the board i want to see what collection can do so as you can see you can drag different items into this collection um collection test so what you can do here is if you can set the due date you can change the color and it's nice that they have these different options of having things change color, but it's not for everything. So if you click here, change anything to a different color, pink, change this goal to charcoal, change this tasks to nothing. Can't change the calendar color either. You only change certain things, which I find interesting. Like I can change this one once again to charcoal, change this one once again to charcoal, but I can't change everything. I'm not really a fan of that. So if we have another example of how things would look. So I'm gonna to go to link here. I'm gonna just type out my website. So we have the website there. We can even change the color of this. But once again, 
there's some functionality issues here. We can't change the size of some of these. So I can't change the size of the collection. I can't change the size of the link. Let's add a person here. So you can change the color of this one. I can put myself. So in order to get things to look a little cleaner, I'm gonna have to resize some things and have things lined up here, which is kind of frustrating. It's not like the most perfect software, to be honest, this is a newer sort of thing. And I, I understand that things aren't gonna be perfect, but I don't like the fact that you can't organize things or move widgets or the sizing of widgets. I don't think that's a crazy ask. Let's add a file here. So actually it goes to my OneDrive. So if I want to take something, I don't know, let's figure out a brand asset. I feel like that'd be good YouTube graphics, brand assets, rebrand logo, rebrand logo final. For some reason I need to drop that logo in somewhere. I have it. Once again, I can change it to charcoal if I'd like. For some reason, if we do want to add the weather, I can add that. I want to know what the weather's like in Hawaii right now. So we can pop this guy right in here. Once again, can't change the sizing, which I am not a huge fan of, but we can do this. So this is kind of the setup that you can have. As you can see, there's functionality issues with some parts of it, but it is a nice way to get things together. Can take notes here. Can add tasks here. You can check your calendar. You can set up calendar events here. You can do all those different nice small functionality things that you can do within all these different parts. However, none of it's going to be exactly, it's just not gonna have the highest end functionality as you would have in other programs or in the specific programs that you want. But it is that nice overview that maybe some people can gravitate towards. And I think that it has its place for certain people. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.